Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This video is just going to be a assembly of nightstand um, furniture from IKEA. We got two of those in white color and my husband will show how to assemble it. Okay, so then we take, okay, one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. Then this, uh-uh, uh-uh, this. these these are for the drawer the ones that have these they're for the drawer so we're gonna set them aside and we're gonna get two of these with the little spinny thing and these little rails so what we want to do is we want to place this here and this guy goes there. So now we take mm -hmm. these little short and stubby ones. Short and stubby. Short and fat. Okay. So put that one there, that one there. And then you take this kind of screwdriver. Okay. And you just go and you tighten this up just like that just like in the movies easy don't over tighten just make sure they're nice and tight but not too tight because you don't want to break this thing so you line up and you just, it's so easy. Even the fourth grader can do it. So you take this piece and what we want to do is we take these little thingies and you put, see there are two holes. There's big one, there's small one. This piece goes into this hole, like this. Mm. Oh, okay, that's a little, okay. And then uh, this piece goes in like that. Oh, look at that. And then you do the same thing here. See, two holes and this hole this goes into, let's see, uh, like this, like this, like this. Oh, put it in, and you just stick this in here, like so. You take these pieces, these little plastic, um, 
caps. I don't know what they're called. Thingies. So you take these thingies and you put them in the holes. Like that. And like that. Then you take this kind of screwdriver and you just go into there and you say, well, tighten it up. And here as well. You get two of these, these little pieces of wood. You put one in here and you put one in here. Okay, now it's time to stand this up. Well, actually, let's not stand this up, but let's actually match up the holes. Okay, oh. then we take these pieces and we put one here like so, and put one here, like so, and then you tighten it up. There we go. Gonna take this piece, the little groove here. We take these pieces, oh look at that. We take all four, and we'll put them into the smaller hole. See, there is a bigger hole and a smaller hole. The bigger hole takes these. The smaller hole takes that. See? Look how convenient. How cute. There. See? You just do that. Mm. How nice. So you just take that, line it up. Make sure you're putting it in the smaller hole. The smaller hole started with your hand and then you use the screwdriver. Okay. okay. Put the metal, the wooden pieces into these holes. Now take this. Set it aside, then you take this, there you go, and Gently, not so hard, just gently. You take these pieces, and I don't know if you can see it, but you just put these inside these holes. Just like that, and just like that. And like that. There we go. Okay. Okay, so now what we want to do is do some hammering. So what we want to do is take this piece and line it up this way. Then there is this little tool. I don't know what it's called, but I call it a clipper, nail holder, whatever. But this tool, what you do is if you take these nails, see this little teensy weensy? And the way it works is you put this nail inside like that. See? Mmm, nice. Then this thing is designed in such a way that you can, you know, put it right on the edge. This is a little spacer to show you where to put the nail in. So what you do is you kind of put the nail 
then let's say you just hold this thing in place then you use your nifty hammer and you do this one Then you take this out, see? And then you just continue. Super. So I'd recommend do the corners first. Make sure you don't hit your fingers because you can't replace those. So I kind of like to put, you know, just enough. Not a whole bunch to kind of hold the back. This is how the magic happens. After this, you can open up your own IKEA furniture assembly business. The thing is, they give you a lot of nails, but this is plenty. You can use the rest to hang your pictures. Save these. Then you take your little plastic feet and the feet go down here you just line them up so now what you do is you take these these are a shelf holder these little plastic pieces you, you take this and watch it goes and it goes and it goes and it goes and bam see there are four of them so you got to make sure that they're pointing down this goes inside and this goes down so you just go away. once you put those in then you take your board this is the shelf so if you look at it this hole is further away than this hole so this piece goes to the front because there is a little space here and the other section goes towards the back so what you do is you insert this in like this easy you just push it down slowly easy it might take you a couple of tries but don't be disappointed, you'll be happy at the end. Okay, you make sure these line up. And now if you look inside, there, see, they fit. See, that's what holds your um, shelf. And look at that, wonderful. See, so we take this, we take this. This here is a handle. It looks like a candy bar, but it's not for cheering. See, it says no, children no. But it looks like a candy bar. So you open the candy bar, just like this. You hold it down at the bottom and you go like this. Look at that. Mm, um, um, um. Anyways, there we go. Okay, so you take two pieces. These are the sides, two holes, four holes. Two holes here, you just take two, put them both holes this way, then you take these pieces and the wooden pieces go into the smaller hole. There is a bigger hole and then there is a smaller hole. So this goes into the smaller hole, like that. And here again, see that's a big hole, but you put it into the smaller hole, right there. Just like that, put them in. And then you do the same thing on this side. You take this piece, you can flip it upside down and then you take these and then you need to put these into the smaller holes like that. See, that's a bigger hole, a smaller hole, a bigger hole, a smaller hole. So you take this and you line it up and you kind of start it with your hand and just like that. And then you take your handy screwdriver and you just tighten it up. So what you do now is you can move these pieces away. So what you do is something like this. Take this and you want to make sure that these holes are on the outside and this is on the inside. So you put it like this. There you go. And you just push it in just like that. Same thing on this side. Make sure the big holes are facing the outside and this cut is facing inwards and you take these these plastic caps and you just put them in just like so and then you take this there we go the same thing on this side so you put these in like that and like that take your screwdriver and tighten it up well you take this piece and you just put it in there just like that, yeah, nothing special. Then you take this board, see this cut? This is where uh, it goes like this. 
So you need this cut, it goes on the inside and on the bottom. So what you do is you have these grooves and this piece of wood slides in. Just, yeah, I guess you, if you push it out a little bit further, this way, there. And then you can push it back. There you go. Just like that. So you'll notice that this thing moves in here, but it's okay. We're not done yet. So there, you line this up this way, or this way. There, and that's how it looks from the top. Then you take these plastic, scary looking things. See, they have these little teeth, whatever you want to call them. But yeah, you just take them. And these holes on the side, that's what takes the scary stuff. Just like that. So yeah, you just, See, like that. You just keep on pushing them in. Carefully, slowly. What I like to do is take a hammer. There, kind of tap it from both sides. Like that. Okay, and you do the same thing here. They're in, nice and flush, looks good. So now, for the last, so now we need to secure this thing. See, because it still moves. See, and it's a little flimsy. So what you do is you take both of these. They're actually labeled. Yeah, one says DR and one says LD. But anyways, you just gotta make sure that this uh, little wheel is towards the back. See, this is the front and this is the back. You gotta make sure that it's towards the back. So what you do is, and there are these holes. There are two holes and you take these fatties. See these nice fat juicy ones? There you go. Look at that. And we just tighten this up. Okay. And you do the same thing on this side. Like that. You line up the screws and line up the holes and just tighten it up. As a last piece, we have these two long screws. So you take this, these are the two holes, like that. Make sure that this piece is pointing down, like that. You line up the screws with the holes, like so. And then you just tighten it up. Okay, so there's the handle. And now, okay, so now that we have our drawer assembled, we're gonna put it in here and see how we did. All right. Beautiful. Opens up and it closes and it looks so good. So the last part is what we want to do is we want to make a hole in there because we're going to put our cell phones here and chargers and we need the cable to go somewhere out the back. This is where this magical tool comes in. This is a... Um, Let's see, let me tell you what size. This is a one inch, one inch hole. There you go. One inch hole, 25 millimeter. See? And as you can see, I haven't been using this piece for a lot of things. It's still good. See, Dewalt, good stuff. Okay, so what you wanna do is figure out where you want the hole. Okay, so what we wanna do is we wanna make a little hole right over here for all our cables. So now we take our drill and we say, how low? Okay, like that, I think that looks good. Yeah, before you make a hole, make sure you ask your wife where she wants it. And there you have it. There's a hole.